I, you know, I, I was just grabbed by the idea of kindred living in unity. I thought, that, that will preach. That will preach. And then I looked at the second line again. I listened to the second line just kind of from my own experience. It's like the precious oil on the head running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, and it's running down over the collars of his robes. And, and I thought, oh, sometimes living or trying to live in unity can be a sticky mess. <laughs> and it's true, isn't it? Because when we're together, or even when we're alone, we have all these choices about kind of whether we go to our best selves or our not-so-best selves. And so you can imagine what happens when a whole group of people might be moving back and forth between their best selves and their not-so-best selves, and what might happen if everyone was having a down day kind of on the, at the same time. Fortunately, I don't think that happens very often. And that's one of the wonderful things about community, is that we buoy each other up. And for those of you who were here last week, you will remember about trying to walk on the water and having that sinking feeling and wondering who was going to grab you out of the water. 